This is a laser harp, similar to the one made famous by Jean-Michel Jarre still in 1982. But I built this one myself using microcontroller, laser and a bunch of sensors. When I was a kid, one thing absolutely blew my mind. Jean-Michel Jarre's futuristic laser harp. Ever since I've dreamed of building my own laser harp. Not as massive as the stage versions, but something that I can actually play at home. The type of harp I wanna build is called a frameless harp. Unlike other designs, it has no frame or sensors on the upper side. Instead, it relies on a phenomenon known as persistence of vision. This is a simple 5 mW laser pointer that I'm going to use to demonstrate the persistence of vision effect. When I switch it on, surprise surprise, we see a simple dot. When I move it quickly, the dot transforms to a line, because our eyes and brain can't process visual information fast enough, creating the illusion of continuous line. But let's take it a step further. I've got this mechanical gadget here, and I've attached a laser pointer to it. The gadget moves the laser beam in a specific pattern, and when it reaches a certain speed, it creates a star projected right onto the wall. The frameless laser harp works on the same principle. It uses a laser beam and a mirror to reflect that beam. By adding a model to move the mirror, we gain precise control over the beam's direction. Here's how it works. The mirror is moved to a specific position and the laser is turned on and off for a short time. Then the mirror moves to the next position and the process repeats. Now here is where the magic happens. When this action is repeated quickly enough, our eyes perceive multiple separate laser beams, each representing a string of the heart. Alright, this is my initial prototype. I've got the motor with a mirror attached to it. The motor is a NEMA 17 stepper motor controlled by the Arduino through this stepper driver. The Arduino board is Leonardo and I'll tell you why I need Leonardo late in the video. And this is the laser. It's equipped with a control board that let us send PWM signals from the Arduino. The signal precisely controls when the laser turns on and off. This is a good moment to warn you that lasers can permanently damage your eyes. Safety first. Alright, let's give it a shot. I expect to see the laser beam split into 7 dots on my ceiling. But instead I see 14. The worst part is the dots aren't evenly spaced and if you look closely, they are shifting constantly which will completely ruin the final effect. It turns out that this NEMA 17 is too heavy for the job. Due to the weight of the rotor, it has a lot of inertia which causes vibrations that affect the end effect. So I swapped the motor for a lighter NEMA 16 and mounted it onto that wooden board using this IKEA metal angle. To eliminate the duplicate dots, I adjusted the motor and the laser operation so that the laser activates only in one direction. This motor feels so much better, we now have 7 crisp evenly spaced dots. You might be wondering where are the harp strings and why we can't see them. Well, to make them visible we need smoke. This is the moment of truth guys, hold your breath. Whoa! This looks amazing. So much better than I expected. This project is coming along nicely, but let me explain what's still ahead. Now that I've finished the visual setup, it's time to focus on making this harp actually produce music. To do that, I need to detect when each beam is interrupted and how high the interruption occurs. Once these two elements are in place, I'll move on to sound generation. For true playability and polyphony, so I can use both hands independently, I need to precisely detect which beams are being interrupted. But because this harp is frameless and all the sensors are at the bottom, this wouldn't be so easy. So I plan to use photoresistors to capture light reflected from my palm. Since only one beam is active at a time, this increase in light happens during a single motor step, allowing me to pinpoint which beam or beams are being interrupted. To measure the height of the interruption, I'll use ultrasonic distance sensor. However, because each sensor covers 15 degree angle, I'll need two to cover the full width of the harp and to detect both hands at once. A lot is going on here, so let me give you a quick update. I just upgraded the motor stand by adding a simple closed loop sensor. 
It is in fact a basic line follower sensor and I extended its two diodes to detect the white arrow. This tweak now gives the motor a homing function so it always runs at the same starting position. Then I began experimenting with different sensors and that's when things went haywire. My laser died and in fact this was my second laser that I'm losing. The worst thing was that there was no clear reason for the failure. So I'm pointing the finger at the controlling board. I ordered another laser which comes with a better controlling module. While waiting for the new laser to arrive, I shifted focus to the music generation part of the project. But that's where I hit the next nut. For the music, I'm using MIDI software like Apple's GarageBand. It's an awesome tool and I've had great results with it on my previous MIDI project. If you like, you can go and check it out after this video. This is exactly why I chose the Leonardo board since it can act like a plug and play human interface device without any extra software. So the snag that I hit is related to synchronization. Everything depends on keeping the motor steps and the laser cycles perfectly aligned. But when I throw another blocking task like sending MIDI note to the computer or reading ultrasonic sensor, the Arduino stalls unpredictably messing up with timing. And you can see the result. I tried all sorts of fixes like putting the communication logic in a timer, but nothing worked. My plan is to add a second Arduino to handle computer communication and ultrasonic measurements, leaving the first Arduino to focus only on light sensors, laser and motor synchronization. After each cycle Arduino number 1 will report which beam is interrupted to Arduino number 2, which then sends the correct note considering the pitch to the computer. I was pleasantly surprised by how well it worked on the first try. So I moved on from the prototype board and continued assembling the harp. To secure all the components I created two shields for the Arduinos. I decided to stick with the wooden board because it offers better stability and weight compared to a 3D printed one and I began mounting all the elements with simple screws. Next I installed a 12 volt power supply to drive both the laser and the stepper motor. I also set up a simple relay for the laser which stays off by default. It only activates the laser once the Arduino is running as a safety measure. Speaking of the laser, I just received a new one. It consists of three combined lasers producing a total output of 3 watts which makes it incredibly dangerous, so I need to be extremely careful. The green laser alone is about 1 watt making it twice as powerful as the old one. I also 3D printed a nice enclosure and on the lid I attached the ultrasonic sensors along with four light sensors. So let's give it a try. On this side I connect the AC power supply and on this side I connect the USB cable to the Leonardo board and then to my computer. Alright, it's definitely brighter. Now I'll enable the garage band and we should hear a sound. Hmm, it doesn't catch my, my hand. I think this is the maximum height the sensors can catch the reflection of my hand. It definitely needs some filtering, but I could say for a first attempt it sounds quite well. Next try. I took these ones from the hardware store and I hope they will reflect a little bit more light. Alright, these ones work a lot better. And the maximum height is somewhere here. I have one more idea how we can improve the range. I have here bright zinc spray that I will apply to the underside of the glass. On the next day the glass look nice and shiny. Let's see if that helps boost the range. Well, I can't say there is improvement. It's probably the same or even worse than before. 
I spent the next couple of days mostly parked at this place here, breathing smoke and tweaking sensors. After a lot of testing I realized that even the 1 watt green laser just doesn't pack enough punch for this setup. There are two key reasons for this. First, the TTL control isn't fast enough to fire the laser at full power for the quick burst I need. Second, the stepper motor lacks the precision to perfectly synchronize the beams in both directions, which in theory would double the brightness. Ideally, I'd upgrade to a Galvo scanner, but those things are seriously pricey and let's just say I've already stretched the budget on this project more than a couple of times. So instead, to boost the beam's brightness, I activated all three lasers together, which produces a cool white beam. I went back to using the white gloves and made some upgrades to the enclosure. After countless experiments, I finally discovered the optimal shape of the heart. Turns out placing a reflected surface at about 85 degrees makes a huge difference in how well the sensors detect reflected light. With all these tweaks, the results are looking pretty promising. Is it perfect? Let's say there is a lot of room for improvements. But is it fun to play with it? Let's check it out.